Good morning students. Welcome to Vistas Learning Classes. I am your Max Tutor Shruti. Now, I hope you remember our session motto, right? Yes, it is always be learning. And before that, let us say something about our channel. We at Vistas Learning provide free education to concentrate all the sections of society. And it is not only right to education. We are striving hard to redefine this. It is right to quality education. And our services are we learning and we sms what is we learning well it's an online platform where you can find many animated concepts and we sms vista school management system where you can track the students progress now what is the session all about yes so this session is a revision of entire three chapters so what are the chapters that is shapes addition and numbers i hope you have come across all these concepts right if not Please go back to the previous sessions. Hold on, but not right now. Now, let us revise some of the concepts of the first chapter, that is shapes. So now, when you find this one, I hope you remember all the things we spoke in this session, right? Yes, that is circles, triangles and the eyeball which you are seeing right now, that is also in circle shape, right? Yes, and we have learned n number of things in that. What is all that? Yes. This picture, so what is this picture? It is triangle over there. Now, what are we trying to concentrate? I hope you are remembering all the words which we spoke in the previous sessions. Yes. Now, this is nothing but side and this is nothing but side. So, how many sides are there? One, two, three. So, total it is three side over there. Now, what is this exact point called as? So, this point is called as corner. So, let me take my pen. So, this point is called as corners over there. So, a triangle has three corners and three sides. So, these are important words you have to remember. So, this session is all about revision. I hope especially people who are weak in the studies and you can't have time, you don't have time to read all the entire chapters. This session is very useful because this is a combination of entire three chapters and you can find the total summary in this one session itself, right? Yes. Let us let us make more interesting by even looking up the new concepts. Now, how about this one? I hope you remember. This is quadrilateral over there and what is this called as? I hope you remember this one. This is diagonal. What is diagonal? Ma'am, it is touching from one corner to another corner. What is the difference in that? Yes, diagonal is one such word, which is, it is termed as, if it is touching from one corner to another opposite corner, then it is called as diagonal. So, if it is touching from this to this, it is just called as sides over there. So, now B, opposite corner is D. And next A, opposite corner is C over there. So, a quadrilateral has two diagonals. I hope you know the meaning of the word. Quadri, four, lateral sides. So, this is a Greek word. Now, what about the corners and sides? Well, ma'am, we have just learned regarding the triangle. Yes, apart from the triangle, which all the shapes we have? Yes, we have square shape, we have star shape. There are n number of things in this. Now, for this one, what are the corners? So, now 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this has 4 corners. That is, square has 4 corners. How about sides? 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, this is the same. Again, this has 4 sides. How about this one? This is star over there. What are the corners? That is, two sides are meeting at some point or two lines are meeting at some point. Now, this is one point, two, three, four and five. So, what are the corners? So, that is, it has, so this picture, it has five corners. And what are the sides over there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, total there are ten sides over there. So, this has ten sides. Now, that's an assignment for you, this picture to find out. You have to find out and comment in the comment section. How many sides and how many corners are there for this picture? Now, how about the next concept? 
tiling tiles and non tiling tiles so tiling tiles is nothing but the tiles which are arranged without any gap these are called as tiling tiles so how about non tiling tiles non tiling tiles there is something gap over there although it has been arranged but there is something gap over there usually when you just visit some construction houses you find this one so still people will be doing to or make it without any gap over there so that is called as non tiling tiles so one is tiling tiles and non tiling tiles i hope i'm moving fast because all these concepts are already been taught to you now how about this one the coins are arranged arranged you are piling up one coin you are piling up one coin on the other so what is the shape called as well we'll just draw over this so now one coin one coin so when you just see the outer portion so this looks something called as the cylinder over there so this is the new shape which we learned i hope you remember this one ma'am i still want to see even what is the exact shape how does this look like yes we'll be showing that picture also now you can see over this so this picture when you just keep on seeing it you find the cylinder over there right yes so you can see cylinder triangle square for this picture now how about the next one next shape is cube over there so what is cube when i heard regarding this well children will be hearing this word because you would have heard something called as rubik's cube right many play with this to arrange the same colors in the same box right yes so this is nothing but rubik's cube why it is called as cube over there because it has length width and height over there so this the long portion that is the length and this one is the width and this one is the height over there i am not able to understand this picture okay consider this as your home itself so now the enter this portion the long portion that is called as the length over there now this portion suppose if you think this as home and your door is over here this portion is considered as width and the final height so what distance from the floor to the roof over there so that is called as height over there i hope this is very easy to remember because we just gave the practical example right yes now so we have seen n number of shapes so triangle square and next one of the star shape for the example and next cylinder and cube now let us move to the next concept because that is one of the very interesting thing and we have given a number of assignment on this if you look back to our previous sessions so what is that it is tangram what is tangram i hope people will be having pt period or craft period or moral science period now in the craft period what do you do so you prepare something called as with the you fold the paper and do something and to get some output right now suppose in a rainy season so usually children are very fond of playing with the boat right they come to the parents and tell them ma'am do uh, something i mean mama papa do something uh, very interesting that should sail in the flow of the water so that is the boat over there so when you just write the boat shape so let me just write now when you look up for the each portion so each portion is considered as one piece of tangram if it is one that side two this side three again this side three so it is considered as three piece tangram if it is four it is four piece tangram now this picture it is something looks like bird right yes now that is your assignment to find out how many piece of tangram is there over here so now suppose let me give a clue 1 2 3 4 the feather which is going which is moving here and there so that is called as one piece tangram two piece tangram three piece and this goes on so this is one of the important concept for your class now we'll move to the next chapter well ma'am is it the shapes chapter that's it yes so shapes chapter we have learned few concepts so that is cylinder cube and triangle square and important concept is tangram so this entire thing is your first chapter how about the second chapter that is numbers so where all we find numbers yes we find numbers everywhere so now suppose let me show you like this what did you just think about this ma'am you are showing hand that's it no but when i just showed like this your mind thought that okay 1 2 3 4 5 right yes you started counting 
that is nothing but numbers so numbers are found everywhere in our practical lives so each and every part of it is inevitable so when you just considered money so without money you can't even survive right yes so numbers are very important especially in mathematics now what are the important things you are going to learn in this chapter you have already learned but this is just a revision now the important points you have to remember is 1 is added to 99 to get 100 i hope you know this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have learned all this in your grade 1 grade 2 right now 1 if 1 is added to 99 you will be getting three digit number so that is called as 100 1 0 0 you would have learned up to 99 but later it is three digit number so now question might come in the fill up the blanks as now which is the smallest three digit number you have to tell it as 100 over there the next one 10 bundles of 10 gives 100 so 10 10 let me take not bundles let me take chocolates you have 10 friends over there so each friend is having 10 10 chocolates so how do you count that so 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 when you just count everything of your 10 friends chocolates it is 100 over there so this is an example the third point 100 is a three digit number which we have just discussed right now the smallest three digit number is 100 again this might come in the fill up the blank as i said you in 102 now how is this 102 how did you write all those yes it is nothing but so 100 100 after this one plus one you have to keep on adding plus one so it is 101 102 103 and this goes on so this is after 100 these are the numbers you find now in 102 2 is in units place and the second 0 is in tens place and 1 is in hundreds place so this is one extra place value you will be learning for your standard so now this is in units and this is hundreds and this is this is in units this is in tens and this is hundreds so in number 102 one is in which place you might get the fill up the blanks or one mark question so one is in hundreds place now the next one what is the and saying over there so it is number words from 100 to 1000 now how do i write 100 to 1000 i just know only up to 99 okay i'll make it easy for you so now since you know 99 plus 1 it is 100 go on adding plus 1 plus 1 so now 101 102 103 okay ma'am i can write up to 109 what after that okay 109 what after 109 it is 1 1 0 well that is same as your two digit itself so after 9 it is 10 right the same way after this 111 112 okay after the number 199 what is after 199 plus 1 if you want to add it is nothing but 200 so 199 plus 200 so you go on adding plus 1 plus 1 until you get 1000 so this is what the ant want to convey do you know this or not yes so now 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 ma'am what is after 900 well okay so 900 901 okay now what it goes up to 999 what is after 999 the same rule you have to add plus one so that becomes thousand so this is the four digit number but what is its place value well we'll be seeing further don't worry now so 999 is the highest three digit number so this you might get in the fill up the blanks or one mark question so you have to remember smallest three digit number 100 greatest three digit number 999 now the next one the same thing just a recap of this so what are the place values so units tens hundreds ma'am there is something called as ones well units place is also called as ones place this you have to remember many textbooks you might get ones place or units place it is both one at the same 
So units place, tens place, hundreds place. Now the number 928, which is the nines place value, it is in hundreds. I hope you are able to answer this. Now, how about 314? Well, it is the same. It is in units place, tens place and hundreds place. Where is the one located? That is which place value? It is in tens place. I hope you are able to answer this one. Now, I hope this I had given an assignment in the previous sessions. You, I hope you did this one. So, it is just a recap. So, what is after 201? It is 202. 203 is already been given. 204, 205 and this goes on. So, this is just to test you. I hope you remember all the three digit place values. Now, write in words. How do I read that? Many students are find very much easier to find the place values but while writing they make mistakes easy method always when you get three digit or two digit first write the place values units tens hundreds now read the number according to the place values so now and can i read from units place no it is always considered from the greater place value so that is five hundred and one isn't it easy yes so let's write up so that is five hundred and ma'am why are you writing and why because there is zero over there so five hundred and one how about two three six so two three six as i said you first write the place values units tens hundreds now read according to the greater place value two hundred thirty six two hundred and thirty six also so now two I hope you are writing along with me 236. How about the last one? 392. So units, tens, hundreds. So read according to the place value 392. So now that is nothing but. 300 and what is the tens place value? It is 9 over there. So 92. I hope you are able to recall all the concepts, right? Yes. Now, identify the number between. Ma'am, there are no numbers. Hold on, I'll give you. So identify the number between. So now 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 8. And the next question. 7, 8, 9, 7, 9, 2. And the next one. 5, 1, 0, 5, 1, 2. Now you have to identify what are the numbers between. So now I hope you are remembering all the things. Yes. 4, 5, 6. How do I read that? The first place value, so 456. So after 456, ma'am, I don't know what is the number after 456. Now, just remember two place values. I hope you know 56, 57, 58. The same way. Keep the first number as it is. Now, 4, 5, 7, 4, 5, 8, 4, 5, 9. Isn't it easy? Yes. So now, 4, 5, 6. After 56, what is the number? 457. So that is what you have to fill up the blank over here. So now is it the number next? Yes. After 57 it is 58. So it is matching. Now 789 and 792. 89. After 89 what is the number in two digit? It is 90 over there. After 90 91 92. So 789 790 is it the number matching? No, we have missed out 91. So, you have to write that number also. So, 790, 791. So, it is need not to be one blank over there. You can get n number of blanks also. Now, the third one, 510 and 512. So, what is the number missed out? 510. After 10, which is the number according to two digit? It is 11 over there. Is it the number matching 12? Yes. So you have to fill up this one. 511 over there. 
Now, the next one, jumping steps. I hope we have seen a number of examples in the previous sessions, right, regarding this. Yes. So, jumping steps, we have learned two types. So, that is forward direction and backward direction. What is forward direction? So, let me consider 210, 211, 212, 213. Let me consider the same number. So, now 213, 212, 211, 210. Now, if you are moving forward, so now that is called as forward direction. If you are moving backward, that is called as backward direction. Now, if suppose, let me take one digit number, 2 dash dash 5. What is the number you will be filling? Now, it is 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, it is matching after 2, it is 5. So, this is called as forward direction. You are moving forward. If I come back, so that is called as backward direction. It is no same meaning as the normal English itself. Now, how about the backward direction? 213 over there. So, the same number I have taken with backward direction. So, 2, 1, 3. You are coming forward. Ma'am, but you are writing forward. Well, that is the rule. So, 213, if I come backward. So, that is backward direction. You have to see from here. The arrow mark is represented backward. 210, 211, 212 and 213. Now, let us take with a single digit so that it will be more easy to understand. So, 9, 8, 7, 6. Ma'am, is it is forward direction. Okay. Let us take the other way. 9, before 9, what is the number? 9, 8, 7, 6. Yes, it is the backward direction itself. Okay. Now, I hope you understood forward direction and backward direction with the single digit number and as well as three digit number. Now, the next one, succeeding and preceding. You would have heard this in your normal English. Well, it is the same thing itself. Let me just give one example. So, now let me take your birth date is. You can comment in the comment section, what is your birth date? I'll tell you the succeeding and preceding number. Now, succeeding number, let me take your birth date as 23. Now, what is the succeeding number? Succeeding number is next, that is after. Preceding number is before. Now, let me take, ma'am, I just can't understand this regarding date of birth. Okay, let me take your roll number itself. Your roll number is 10. What is the preceding number? So, preceding number is, so before you, which is your friend that comes. So, that, that is 10. Before that, it is 9. So, after you, who is the register number? That is 11 over there. The same thing, the three digit number, we can play with that. So, if it is your birth date is 23, the succeeding number is 24. If the preceding number, it is 22 over there. Ma'am, can you give more example with the three digit? Well, I'll give you. Now, 110, the succeeding number, the next number, that is 111. How about the preceding number, the previous number, that is 109 over there. I hope you are able to remember the concepts, right? Yes. Now, the next one, ascending and descending order. I hope many students get confused with this one, right? The way you write A and the way you write D. Ma'am, what is this, the way you write A and D? Well, I'll tell you. It is from bottom to top over there. Let me take my pen. It is from bottom to top over there. That is smaller numbers to bigger numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this goes on. How do you write D over there? Bigger to smaller. That is from top to bottom. And what is this key trick you are saying? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Bottom to top. That is you have to arrange in smaller numbers to bigger numbers. That is ascending order. And descending order is bigger numbers to smaller numbers. Let me take with the three digit number over there. So now 4, 5, 6. 4, 6, 5. And 4, 4, 4. How do I arrange this one? Now, bigger number, which is the bigger number or smaller number? I have to look for the ascending order now. Ascending order, smaller number. Well, ma'am, all the numbers are starting from 4. Okay. If all the numbers are starting from 4, then look up for the next digit. So, now 4, it has been ignored. 5, 6, 4, which is a smaller number. Now, 
four 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 is the smaller number. Ma'am, you didn't look up for the units place itself. Not necessary because we got to know tens place four is the smaller. So your time is reduced. Next, what is the number? Four five six. Next, four six five. Easy method. Descending order. Greater to smaller. Arrange this in the reverse format. Four six five four five six and four four four. So this is what ascending order and descending order. Now the next one. Identify bigger and smaller numbers. Let me give some two questions. So now four eight nine. Four six eight. You have to tell which is bigger and which is smaller. The next one, hundred and hundred and ten. Now I hope you remember the symbol less than, greater than. Less than. I hope I said the trick, which is in something L shape over there. Or, ma'am, I can't remember that one. Okay, which has the bigger mouth? That you have to portray to the greater number over there. So four, four. It is same. Go to the tens place value. Eight and six, eight and six. Which is greater? Eight is greater. So this has the bigger mouth over there. How about hundred and hundred and ten? One one is same. Zero and one. Zero is smaller or one is smaller? Well, zero is smaller. So obviously this has the smaller mouth over there. Now framing numbers. So framing numbers. I hope you remember this one. Let me take any numbers, so three digit or two digit. You have to keep on forming it such that your number or number pattern need to extend that one. So let me take some three digit number one seven eight. How do I frame the number? Let me take one seven eight. It's already being framed over there. Let me take with a two digit so that it will be very useful for you. Let me take with the 78. So 78, how do I frame this one? Well, it is just the two steps. So that is nothing but 87 and 78. Ma'am, you can't do anything over there. Okay, let me take the same thing itself. So 178, you can frame with 178, you can frame with 781, you can frame with 817 and this goes on. I hope you just got to know because you have to just keep shuffling the numbers. How about the number 490? Let me take 490. How do I arrange this one? The same way 490. And next 940. And next ma'am there is 0 over there. Okay you can still do that. 0, 4, 9. 0, 9, 4. Ma'am 0 doesn't have value when it is preceded. Okay that's not a problem. So now 94 means the same, 49 means the same. So that you have to remember this one. Now I hope you got to know framing numbers. Just keep on shuffling. That's it. Now number line. This is one of the last concept in the second chapter. How do I plot the number line? There are some important points you have to remember. So now number line is a straight line. Obviously, this is a straight line. And I don't know how to plot a number line. Well, just think your ruler, your normal scale. So that itself also a number line. Your scale, normal scale has 15 centimeters and the long scale which has 30 centimeters, right? The same way you have to plot the number line. Number line is a straight line and next numbers are written in order. It, it has to always written in order at equal distance. So this is one of the very important word over there. You have to have equal distance. Now the value increases as we move towards the right side. So now this is also very important. No need to explain this I hope because when you see the normal scale it is starting from 0 to 15. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this goes on increasing. This is understood. Now the third, the fourth point, the value decreases as we move towards the left side. If you just see the ruler from the reverse, 15, 14, 13, 12, this goes on decreasing, right? Yes. So this is the normal words. You have to remember this one. So right side increase, left side decrease. Now let us plot some of the number line. Can we plot 800? Can you plot 9? Can you plot 
99. So these are the questions for you. I hope you are doing along with me. So now always make sure that since it is 800, have the equal distance. Many students do this mistake. So now they'll start up with 0 and directly they'll write it as 100, next 101, 102. No, this is very wrong. Always have the equal distance. Suppose if you're starting from the first number, always have the equal distance over there. Now, since it is 800, how do I plot? It is all 100, 100 intervals so that it will be very easy, right? Yes, do along with me. So now 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Ma'am, can we still exceed this? Yes. There is, it is not a rule that you have to stop over there. You can exceed or you can stop over there itself. So your number is 800. That's it. Your answer has been done. You get one or two marks over there. Now 9. This is one of the easy thing. Now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now before starting this you have to remember one thing always use pencil and scale for this and have the equal intervals so suppose your scale is over here the next if it might be one over there so your one the line which you are putting it is not of your choice or it is not in free hand here you have to go according to the ruler so after zero since in your scale it is one you have to plot 100 after that it is two you have to plot 200. So this is what it is called as equal distance, equidistance. Now how do I plot 99? The same way. Now what is the number I have to start? Is it 0? Now it is not mandatory to start always with the 0 itself. Since your number is 99, so that is nothing but 90, 91, 92, 93. And what if I start with 0? Well, if you start with 0, so 0 to 90, there are 90 intervals. So later on, you are decreasing. That is 90 to 1, it is just one interval. So that is not equidistant. So this is where most of the students go wrong over here. It is not mandatory to start with always 0. But you have to have equal distance. Now next is 94, 96, 95, 96. And next is 97, 98, 9900. I hope you are using your scale and not as I do. So 9, I hope we have not rounded it. It is 9 over there. Now the next third chapter and the last chapter for this session to revise this. I hope you just remember all the single digit number, right? Yes, it is just in the free hand. So 5 plus 2, it is 6 and 7. And next 2 plus 2, it is 4 over there. You remember all the single digit. Now, there are some parts of addition. What are the parts of addition? So, this is plus sign and this is add in and add in and the final thing is called as sum. This word is very important. This you might get in the higher grade. So, addition is also called as sum over there. Now, how do you do three digit addition? It is the same, the place values, but you have to keep on adding thinking that it is single digit number. So now, shall we start up with this or this side? Okay, let's go for a change. So now, 1, 2, 5 and 3, 2, 1. How do I add this? So 5 plus 1 gives me 6 and 2 plus 2 gives me 4 and 1 plus 3 gives me 4. This is the normal addition if it is single digit. But we are clubbing all together, it is three digit that is units place, tens place, hundreds place. Ma'am, it is written as over there. Well, it is nothing but ones place also. Now, how about the next one? You can write any numbers. So, 5, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 2, 4, 5 plus 1, 6. I am moving fast because this is a revision class. Now, 5 or 4, 2, 3, 1, 5, 2. So, 3 plus 2, 5. 2 plus 5, 7. 4 plus 1, 5. So, these are all the normal addition and we have seen the verbal problems also. I hope you remember this one. And next, 
estimation so estimation amount estimated amount how do you estimate this the normal scale itself but there will be some numbers it can be any numbers so for that number which is the nearest tens place value you have to write now suppose let me take 5 over there ma'am this is very uh, difficult to remember well let me take the sum number which is easy 7 so 7 is falling between 0 and 10 now 7 is near to which tens place value it is near to 10 so 7 estimated amount estimated value is 10 over there how about 5 yes 5 is one such unique number if any question is given on 5 you have to take always the succeeding one so that is after 5 which is the next tens place value it is 10 over there suppose 55 55 60 over there 95 95 100 over there i hope you are understanding now some questions for 52 remember this question is directly taken from your textbook so you have to pay attention so 52 52 is near to which tens place value 52 is near to obviously just one interval two interval so it is near to 50 now estimated value of 57 so 57 is near to 1 2 3 it is near to 60 now the next 55 one such unique number so you have to take the succeeding one so 55 it is obviously this side is 50 this side is 5 and this side is 5 but you have to take the next one so that is 60 over there how about 54 so 54 1 2 3 4 4 intervals but this side it is 6 intervals so it is near to which one obviously 50 now 56 56 is near to 1 2 3 4 just 4 intervals so it is near to 60 over there now the next one find the sum of the same thing estimated has been carried forward i hope you we did all this one but it is just the revision of the entire three chapters estimate the sum of 46 and 23 46 what is the estimation so just remember the number line 46 see always have a practice you imagine the things also it is not that you always take the pen paper and write no you have to imagine the things such that your brain works more faster 46 which is the tens place value it is 50 what do you have to find you have to find the sum over there so that is addition 23 so for 23 which is the nearest so nearest tens place value is 20 why can't you write 30 no it is 7 intervals far now this is my answer over no my answer is not over you have to add the thing so 0 plus 0 0 and next 5 plus 2 will give me 7 over there so it total is 70 the same thing estimate the sum of 21 and 35 i hope by this time you're very much perfect with estimation right so this question is your homework or you can comment in the comment section if you're pretty fast now the last concept of the entire third chapter what is the tens estimated value of 43 tens estimated value directly you can write so it is near it comes between 40 and it comes between 50 so 43 comes between 40 and 50 it is near to obviously 40 so this is very easy one next what is the tens estimated value of 47 47 is near to which tens place value 48 49 50 it is near to tens place value that is 50 so directly you can write it as 50 over there now i hope the entire three sessions was that is entire three chapters was very useful right because you no need to see the entire all the uh, sit and see the entire sessions because this is just a combination combination or complete uh, combination of the entire three chapters and one more thing but for the deep understanding of the each and every concept you have to look back to our previous sessions because that will be very useful for your exam to solve deeply that is exercise problems also now i hope the class was very interesting for more such classes you have to please do like share and subscribe to our channel that would be a great support for us thanks for listening see you see you in the next class but hold on with more exciting problems what is that 
will be having the MCQ problems that is multiple choice questions where you have to have four alternatives. We'll be playing with the four alternatives itself now. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.